Okay, YouTube, uh, garage lock cleaner. These are sitting here because I was looking for something over here. Still, I'm still missing that. I don't know if I told you that brake brake pad or yeah, this the brake on the one side over here. Uh, go out here and show you. I got these off of Amazon. I ordered another set. Because they're only ten dollars and you get four of them. The bigger ones here did not work. They won't fit. But someone might be able to use them. You never know. I don't know. Uh, I'll show you. The smaller ones. You can see airbags in here. Smaller ones fit bottom and the top. But the top it fits right over real good the bottom you can see it's smushed a little bit but it's gonna hold the grease in where it's supposed to the airbag is completely in on this side the airline is i uh, got it run through here out through here and then there's a little spot on the frame it's a hole it comes out facing right there and I got that run out run up with the gas signs and everything for all the stuff and the gas signs and wires running through there then uh, you can't see it in here but I can probably feel it. it's right here but if I pull it out you can see it that's still got to be zip tied to all that stuff and it's laying in the back for now on this side I got it all marked out where I'm going to cut it. I got make sure you definitely do this if you're working on something. Got it all apart. I double zip tied that. I'm going to cut this across here. Mostly in the front here. I, I got to make sure it's close to the other side. And then you can see underneath here where the white is I got cut out. This time I'm going to try not to cut back so far on this one because I had to weld it and cut around there. And then you got to take the grinder or a file or whatever make that real smooth just in case that bag would shift. You don't want to cut it. And then what I'll do is it'll come through here and should probably this this one over here you're going to have to watch it because you, you got your exhaust right here. But... Let me see if there's a hole back here. And there's not a hole on this side. So, you have to run your line through. I don't feel no hole. You have to run your line through so far. And you can't come up to right there. You have to get it up right before there because there's a blockage in there it goes across so I'll show you that when I do it I'll figure out where I'm gonna bring the line and then you already seen all the inside it's mostly done let me get the keys anyway I still got to drill a couple of holes I think it undoes it, yeah. I got all the rest of my parts in there because my battery's going to go right there. And this is what it's looking like so far in here. This really looks nice. This is nice and shiny. You can see how shiny. You can actually see the pump, which I like. But I got to take in here I'm gonna have to drill a hole in here or actually I might not have to drill a hole I got enough room here this play to put that like that but I could take I got fair out somehow I could put that something like there too because this is probably 
I'm gonna probably put this first and then I'll put my this other little piece in here uh, it's in here I'll put it then this has got to go in I don't know which way this goes so um, that might be second I don't know but this only work goes one way I know you guys that's not focusing. Trying to get that focus for you guys. Let's say down. It's supposed to be auto focus. Well, it's not working very good. But anyway, small print. It's got a triangle or thing going this way. I think it goes that way. If it goes that way, I'm going to put that other piece first, like I said. If it goes that way, it'll be like this. Then I'll have that bolted on there. Because I can take this and shove that in there. And snug it down and that ought to work. I'm hoping. Like that. And that should tighten up. If it works that way. Don't work that way. If it don't work, don't work that way. I could actually do it this way too. I want, I want to try to keep this close there. Then it's got, Then it's going to go into the battery. Then off the battery, off the battery, it'll come out here and go into the other stuff. Which, that is all wired and sitting under here. I just got to bring the wires over. You can see, it looks pretty good in here. I do have to uh, shave this. See how tight that is? I think it's swelled up from the paint, so I'll shave it a little bit so it fits in there better. So, because right now I really it ain't all the way in. And I got two ground wires. This is a heavy, heavy. This is actually a power wire, but it's black. It came off of uh, the other S10 motor I had, the 2004. But it's playing long enough to already had a piece. That's how I cut my printer. And then I got the other ground wire. So I got two ground wires back here. And then I'm going to have a hot wire leading over this one. That'll lead over to charge the battery. Just give it a little charge one way. And then all the power from the amp and everything is going to be off this battery back here. That way I'm not... If I go somewhere, I'm not killing the battery. Now... On the radio, or yeah, the amp that will still be hooked up to the uh, the blue wire here to turn it on and off. The power main power supply is coming back here, but to turn it on and off, it's going to be up there. And then I have another wire run down here, which is this wire right here, that piece of speaker wire. That actually is going to have to be run, which I got that running through here, on the here for now, on my fuse block. But see, I can grab that fuse block and change all that. That is going to have to be hooked to, uh, I'm going to take that, it might still be hooked to the fuse block, but I'm going to put a toggle switch in there. So, if I go somewhere, I can hit that and the compressors won't keep on running, won't change the battery. If they were, if it had a leak or whatever, but I am shouldn't. But I'm going to make it so I can turn that on and off. Might even put a toggle switch back here. Now the toggle switch I'm going to have is not going to be a uh, monetary. It's going to be a straight toggle switch on and off. But there it is so far. I mean, I'm hoping to have it wired up and air, air run through. Yeah, by the end of this week, at least for the front, back's going to be a lot harder. 
Now I still got to drill the holes in here. Which, I'm going to try to, I'll take a little small drill bit through here. And then when I take it out, I can drill, I'll drill through the other way. I'll just be real careful. And then, because I, I, I drilled these holes. Let me see if there's another hole here. And you can't even tell because I sprayed over it. It turned out pretty good. So, but these are mounted, I mean, snug. And the way I mounted these, I took bolts up through and then took the original nut. And the original nut, if you see it, is on the bottom to tighten it up. Holds that. Then I can take this on and off and leave the studs in there. I made them like studs. Then it keeps it up a little more. So, I like it. Then the only thing, actually, the only thing it's rubbing when it's rubbing on the paint is that little teeny nut. But she's getting there, guys. Now, the other day, I had to switch on and was something draining the battery. Which I don't know what. I don't know if it'll start today or not. I put some seafoam in there, too. Let's see if it'll start. Yeah, I put some sea foam in. You, if you see the ABS light is on the rear rear gate, we know that because they're not hooked up in the front. Well, it's starting to rain, so. Uh, until later, uh, if you like my videos, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. At least you watch one. Bye to later.